outside. And down inside the 15 he goes. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And he is going to be wrapped up and swung to the turf. Lawrence Taylor in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. On second down, Trubisky. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson, and it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Trubisky on third and long. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. On now is Blair Walsh as he'll try the field goal here. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had it on line, gave it a pretty good ride, too, but in the end, he's a victim of the crossbar. And, Brandon, you know kickers very well. I'll bet if we ask him after the game, he'll say he didn't get all of it. We've seen him hit from deeper than this in warm-ups, but here, he's a foot or so from clearing that bar. So, good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Hurry up, here we go! And Marino going to throw despite the late lead. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball? Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. From the two now, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. This one fielded at the five. <laughs> Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part.